Hello once again, in the last episode I was exploring this place. Okay, where are you, woman? It's done. Thank you. Boring loot. Never mind. More corpses. Okay, I'm out of places now. Is it bugged? What? Okay, I'll, I'll leave and come back. Yeah, must be broke. It's weird. another time. Welcome back, my friend. My store has never been better stocked thanks to you. No problem. Although I have nothing else to ask you to find, you're quite welcome to bring back any rare specimens you may come across. Okay. I'd be more than happy to craft something just for you. It's the least I can do for the champion of Kirkwall. Cool. The angel champion, from our major have you found is any new unfinished. wondrous materials in your They trappings? would all be at peace if they No. You. Okay, so I'll jump. and stuff. That's crap. That's crap. That's crap. That's crap. That's crap. That's good ish. That's good. 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 Crap. 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 
That's awesome. For now. That's good, that's good. Right click on a foe to begin basic attacks. To use a talent like Mighty Blow or Spell like Windows Grass, press target the enemy, then select the ability from your quick bar. Oh shit, we're in the gallows. It's <sighs> awesome. Cool. Okay, I guess go this way then. This is a difficult time for Kirk Wall. Alright. Well, it's a big book. Mm, loot. Open. Mm. Happy now? Yes. This must be out. The training ground. The night commander wishes to speak to you. I know. I'm just exploring. Oh shit, this broke. That's good. The night commander wishes to speak to you. Hello, darling. Champion, welcome. What is this urgent matter you spoke of? There was an incident within the gallows. A number of phylacteries were destroyed, and several mages took the opportunity to escape. We've recovered most of the fugitives. However, I require your assistance in tracking down the last three. Hmm. How did the phylacteries get destroyed? An insurrection. Several of my own Templars orchestrated the escape, presumably out of sympathy for the mages. They turned their backs on their duty and endangered their charges, as well as the city. Thankfully, most who escaped fled to their families and offered no resistance. The last three are proving more... difficult. Right. I'm surprised you would turn to me. We haven't always seen eye to eye. I have asked you to track these fugitives so you might see for yourself what we Templars deal with every day. If you still think them worth our mercy, tell me then. Okay. I'll see what I can do. I am relieved. I was expecting resistance after that debacle at the market. Talk to these mages' families. Learn where they are hiding, and find them before they do harm. Okay. You will see that imprisonment or death is sometimes the only kindness we can offer. Mm -mm. Speak to my assistant, Elsa. She can tell you whatever you need to know about the fugitives. I bid you good day, champion. Good day, Sarah, or wherever you are. Good day, champion of Kirkwall. Knight Commander Meredith has informed me that you will be tracking down the apostates on behalf of the Templars. There are three of them. Huon, Emil, and Evelina. Okay. Why does Meredith have a tranquil assistant? She flaunts what she can do to mages. She likes to rub our faces in it. The Knight Commander believes tranquil mages to be efficient and single-minded. I, in particular, am extremely organized. Okay. Are the apostates blood mages? The Knight Commander suspects this, yes. The Knight Commander tends to assume all apostates practice blood magic. She prefers to err on the side of caution. Okay. I want to hear about Huon. Huon is an elf. He was apprehended in the alienage ten years ago. His wife, Nisa, works for a dressmaker in Lowtown. Have the Templars spoken to her? Yes. Nisa insists she has not seen Huon since he joined the Circle. Okay. Could Huon be hiding among the other elves in the alienage? The Templars' searches uncovered nothing. The Templars have also concluded that few other elves would risk hiding him. Huon was taken many years ago. Most of the alienage's inhabitants do not even know him. Right. Tell me what you know about Emile. The second apostate is Emile de Lancey, fifth son of the Comte de Lancey. The Dulonces have a home in Hightown, but are often out during the day. They are generally home by evening. Okay. What have they said to the Templars? The Comte and Comtesse say they have not seen Emile since he was a child. Right. What do you know about the Dulonces? 
Comte Guillaume de Lancey is a minor noble from Orlais. He and his wife came to the Free Marches over three decades ago. Okay. Emile was born in Kirkwall and sent to the circle at age six. What do you know about Evelina? Evelina was trained for eight years in the circle in Ferelden. She was last seen in her former residence among the refugee community in Darktown. How did she come to be in Kirkwall? Evelina claims to have fled the Blight, not the Circle. She presented herself to the First Enchanter on her arrival and asked to take her place here. Mm. Our files indicate she petitioned Meredith for financial support of numerous other pre-adolescent Blight survivors. Did the Templars run her into Darktown? Yes, they tracked her there, but she killed several pursuers. The Templars believe she is the most dangerous apostate. Mm. I have all the information I require for now. Good luck on your search, champion of Kirkwall. Awesome. Okay, six for her room. Sneaky, sneaky. No, nothing. Boring. This is a difficult time for Kirkwall. I... Boring. I want to see my sister. The Knight Commander is grateful for your support, Champion. Awesome. Okay. I'll go find the meal first. I think. Okay, Devilina and Darkton. Champion, it seems you've become less a friend to the Templars in the years since your ascent. But surely you can see the Knight Commander directly now, should you wish. What would you have of me? Everyone says the Knight Commander has gone crazy. Are you still behind her? The people ask too much of her. She needs a spine of iron to survive her position. Mm. I have seen madness before. I saw Aldred's eyes when there was nothing human left in them. The Knight Commander. She is not there yet. But I do not have to ask where the rumors come from. Okay. If it comes to war with the mages, Whose side do you think the Grand Cleric will take? She is bound by faith and duty to support the Templars. We have dominance over mages by divine right. Mm -hmm. But it is cruel how she leads them on, letting them think they might have a chance of rebellion. I just wanted to see how an old friend is doing in this difficult time. After what happened in Ferelden, I told myself I would never again question the purpose of the Order. But it grows harder each day to tell whether I'm serving the Templars or only the Knight Commander. Mm. It may be that they are no longer one and the same. Cool. The mages have spies in our order, I tell you. You can't trust anyone. Okay, let's go to Dark Town. By night. Get some extra fighting in. And that's the end of this video. Remember to click on the top right to watch the next one. Leave a comment about how Templars are stupid. Goodbye.